Today is Friday, September the 13th. I'm Ian Downer, and on today's edition of the W. Rums broadcast, we have great stories to bring your way. To start things off, we're going to go to Lance Childress with the Senior of the Week. Thanks, Ian. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Alonzo, and he's the Senior of the Week. So, Alonzo, how long have you been coming to Asbury? Since 2005. And what's your plans for after you graduate? I think I'm going to Sneed for two years and find a place college in Florida. Alright. Well, sounds good. Thanks for your time. Alright. What are you doing, Miss <gasps> Look, look, dimes. I just love dimes, dimes, dimes. Oh, oh, doesn't it make a wonderful sound? I love them. That's a lot of change. Where'd you get it? Well, a lot of students don't realize, but we're charging overdue fines this year for books, and it's 10 cents a day. And guess what? Oh, I'm collecting a lot, and I'm going to use these to buy new library books. You don't have an overdue book, do you? I don't. Okay, very good. But if you do, it's 10 cents a day. So, you better check. You better come and renew your book or check it in. Okay? Okay. Right now, we're going to go to Josie Pelham, and then after that... Madeline Upton's going to give us a short history on the Star Spangled Banner. I'm with Hovita, who is a part of the multimedia team here at Asbury. So Hovita, I understand that the multimedia team is in charge of a whole lot of things around here at Asbury. Can you tell me more about that? Okay, well, every grade, freshmen through seniors, are in charge of their own events, whatever is coming up. Like, if freshmen have something that involves them, they would be the ones that are responsible to put any type of information. As for the senior page, we are responsible for like scholarships, deadlines and all that, and then information about certain colleges and careers. And we also have the senior spotlights. Every grade's gonna have a spotlight. Yeah, they should check it out. They should check out the website. And y'all are also in charge of the electronic scroll boards, right? Yes. Everybody's in charge of I think it's the sophomores that are in charge of that and then the seniors are in charge of the television in the lunchroom. Okay. Well, y'all do a really great job of keeping up with the announcements and everything, and we all really appreciate that. It's nothing. Thank you. Thank you. 1814, Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. So let's go see who all knows it. Any of y'all sing the national anthem? No. no. Do you know the words? Uh, yes. Uh, say uh, the words. Some other words. Just, oh, say, okay, can, can you see? see? <laughs> right along the day, right? <laughs> well, so proudly we have, we're so gatherly streaming. Okay. <laughs> No, the words to the Star Spangled Banner? The what? The words to the Star Spangled Banner? No. Can you sing what? the words to the Star Spangled Banner? Right now? Yeah. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What's the problem we have? The twilight's less gleaming. His brush drops and bright stars through the perilous spot. Or the red horse we watched were so gladly streaming. And the rockets were clear, the both of our swing and air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does the Star Spangled Banner yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the free. Yay! It wasn't very good. trip to Sneed State for a college fair. At this time, Zero Justice is going to interview one of the seniors that went on that trip. I'm here with Jacob, and he was one of the seniors that went on the college fair field trip on Tuesday. So, do you plan on going to college next year? Yes, I do. What do you plan on doing? I plan on taking a criminal justice. Have you decided on what college you want to go to? I was thinking about Sneed or Gaston State. So, at the college fair, did you find any college that you hadn't thought about before? I didn't think about Snead at first, but now I was impressed with the criminal justice. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Lauren, and she was one of our seniors that went to the college fair. So, Lauren, what was the college fair? Um, it was basically just a data preview of some of the colleges in the state and out of the state that we might be interested in. Were there any colleges at the college fair that you hadn't thought about before? Um, yes. Mississippi College. They're at Christian University in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, I learned about them there and I've actually decided to apply. So you're going to apply there? Yes. Where else are you going to apply? Um, I've already applied at Alabama and Sanford in the University of Alabama at Birmingham. 
So have you decided where you're going to go next year or where, um, where you really want to go? No, still just looking. All right, well, thank you. Allison and this is Weird Human Tricks. I have Anthony here and he can do something pretty awesome. So, show us. Do it again. Ah, this is gross. Okay. <laughs> Hannah Gruber has an interview with two students about a book they read. And then Micah Culpepper is going to come with the Teacher of the Week. Dakota Morris and Ashton White. In English class, they read a book called Of Mice and Men. So, Dakota, what was the book about? Uh, mentally challenged person with a father-like figure with him working for money. And Ashton, what was your favorite part? Um, probably when Minnie broke Curly's hand. That was pretty mm -hmm. cool. Would you recommend this book to other readers? Yeah, probably. You would? Okay. Well, thank you. I'm here with Ms. Thomas, and she has been chosen the Teacher of the Week. So, Ms. Thomas, how long have you been at Asbury? Uh, this is my second year at Asbury. And what do you teach? I teach ninth grade special education. And I heard that you're the new junior varsity volleyball coach. How's that going? I am, and it's going great. The girls are working really hard. Okay, and I also heard that you got married over the summer. I did. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Brindle. Oh, and I hate it when you do this today. I hate being on camera more than anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm here with Ashton White and Dakota Morris in English class. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, are you talking? She just stand here. Can you just record, redo the record? Yeah, that's what yeah. we've been doing. Oh. Rebuild. Did, did you stop it? Am I looking good? Stop it. Did you stop it? Yeah, stop it. 1814, Francis Scott Key read our nation's national anthem. Read our national anthem. National anthem. 